Welcome to this week's edition of the Fordham Ram Roundup with the women's soccer team and head coach Jess Clinton. Jess, already 25% of the way through the season, five, five games in at 2-1-2. and two. Uh, How would you rate the, the first quarter of the season being over with uh, for your team? I can't believe it's gone by that fast. Uh, I think as far as being a young group, we've done quite well. There's a lot of learning experiences and we're taking it game by game but i'm really happy with where we are as far as our style of play the last two games have been tough physically but i like where we're at and i like our mentality heading into the next set of games this past week two ties but uh, one of the things we talked about in the preseason was the goalkeeper and kelly lamore getting her first two uh starts in net what have you seen from her as she's playing the full 90 minutes as she's taken that next step to getting a start in games We've seen a lot of confidence from Kelly. We, we knew that in the recruiting process for sure, that she was a confident goalkeeper, confident with her feet. Um, and we have really seen that in her play coming off of her line and her connection with the back line and her talk. Um, so Kelly right now is really confident in her play and I think it's helping our back line in, in adjusting and, and being calm and, and settling things down. Well, you go from having two ties here at home against Holy Cross Seed Hall. Now you have two very tough opponents, uh, or historically tough opponents, in Hofstra on Friday night and UConn we saw last year uh, on Sunday here at home. What do those games do for you going forward as A-10 conference play right around the corner uh, going forward for this team as kind of measuring stick games? I think when we look at Hofstra and we look at UConn, Hofstra is a very physical team. They do play, so they are becoming a combination of things that we've seen in the past. Um, Hofstra is a very good soccer playing team that looks to rush forward really quickly. UConn, they just run right through you. <laughs> um, so I think the, both games are preparing us for eight tens as we get to see each game that we're playing is preparing us for that next level of what we may see from some of our opponents and especially, hopefully, in postseason play. All right, well, thanks so much. Best of luck this weekend, and we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you so much. We continue our Ram Roundup with our player interview with sophomore Amanda Miller. Amanda, you got, you've come out kind of pistols blazing in your second year here at Fordham. Two goals in your first five games here, really causing a lot of havoc up front along with Kriya and Lane. How, how have you seen your game change a little bit from year one into year two this year that you've had a lot of success and causing a lot of scoring chances for your team this year? Um, I just think I've gotten a lot more confident as I've played like a lot of more experience from last year and I just think that's helped a lot and just the team has been meshing well which has helped a lot too. The team is already 25% of the way through your season already. You're coming up on game six and seven. How would you uh, look at the two one and two record, you know, two ties last weekend, where the team is at as you head into those last couple of non-conference games before conference play starts in a couple weeks? Um, I think we've been playing really well. I just think we got unlucky the past weekend. Like, we're getting so close to goal. We just need to capitalize. But it's definitely there, and I think A-10s were looking good for and this weekend, your two games against two very quality opponents. You're at Hofstra on Friday, and then UConn here at home uh, on Sunday afternoon. Playing those type of opponents, how is that going to prep you guys for that start of A-10 play in the coming weeks? I mean, they're both very physical and athletic teams, which helps, obviously, just getting pressure on us and helping us to like adjust our game based on the different opponents. And we've seen both teams before, which helps too. And I think that it'll just make us better all around playing wise. All right, well, good luck this weekend and uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Fordham Ram Roundup with the women's soccer team. Thanks to Jess Clinton and Amanda Miller for joining us for the women's soccer in action twice this weekend as they'll be at Hofstra 7 o'clock on Friday night and then they'll host UConn here at Jack Coffee Field on Sunday at 1 p.m. Both those games will be web streamed. Make sure to check FordhamSports.com for links. For those home games, for those who've had a few issues with the web stream, make sure you have the most up-to-date Adobe Flash Player. It's a free download to make sure that you can watch the Fordham Soccer Action on your computer. The A10 app will not work 
for uh, the women's soccer games. So make sure you have the most up-to-date version of the Adobe Flash Player uh, when watching the women's soccer game on Sunday. For the Fordham Ram Roundup, I'm Scott Kwiatkowski. We'll see you next time.